iron raisin bread, actually. Now, with an alcohol content of up to 70%, it's really no surprise that absinthe has gained a reputation for aiding creativity and being a powerful aphrodisiac. Mixologist Ty Altman from IP Bartenders is here to explain more. Ty, what are you doing to me today? You're going to make me drink absinthe. We're going to make you drink absinthe uh, in two different ways, in a sort of traditional way, but mm. also in a nice kind of easy uh, contemporary cocktail Okay, way. now let's get to the root of why this stuff is so lethal and, and so much so that it was actually banned and still is banned in some countries. Still banned in some countries. Um, well, it's very, very strong in alcohol content, for, <laughs> firstly, <laughs> and it also contains uh, wormwood which has hallucinogenic properties. Oh, um, no. absinthe, absinthe, as it should be pronounced, uh, is the French for wormwood. And that's oh. one of its main um, ingredients in absinthe, but it's made up of a lot of different herbs. Okay, now it's still banned in France. And the US. And the US. Yeah. Um, Not over here though, thankfully. No. Oh, whoopee doo. Okay, so let's have a go. Let's go, okay, so this is uh, your green absinthe. Um, this is what you might call Parisian absinthe. It's more traditional, it's an anise um, product. Uh, so it's anisey flavour. We're just going to put in, let's say, about a shot. What they would do is uh, they'd take one of these uh, absinthe spoons, which is sort of basically a slotted spoon. Okay. Um, and depending on how sweet you are, how sweet you like your drinks, how sweet are you? I'm probably not one sweet enough. One lump or two? Two. Let's go for two. Okay, so we put our sugar on there. Yeah. And you literally get some water. Uh, I'm going to try this with a straw in the first just instance. Just cold tap water? Just cold water, yeah. And you kind of just drip this wow. you know, through the sugar until... Um, it dissolves sort of into the drink. Why if would you want you to go a little bit pour further, the, um, pour the sugar straight in and let what? it dissolve in the glass. There you go. I think well, a lot of it is um, is tradition as well. Right. You know, a lot of it is, is kind of going through this sort of ceremony of, of drinking this. Yeah. But when it kind of dissolves, you can start seeing it just going now. Yeah. And then when it sort of gets towards I can being smell fully, it. can you smell it now? It gets fully dissolved. You'd actually drop this in. Right. And then stir it in. And you just keep pushing in as much water as you basically wanted. And you see how it kind of goes cloudy? Yeah. Known as the louche. Okay. Uh, I hope my French is right there. <laughs> Very good. Um, my pronunciation. But you see, that's what happens when you kind of put water uh, within these. With Perna, it happens with Ricard. It happens here as well. And it okay. kind of goes this cloudy. Now, all the sugar is dissolved in there. You have the water in there. And literally, it's how you would serve it. And how does it compare price-wise to another spirit that we might buy in a bar? It's generally priced uh, <laughs> more than, let's say, a vodka or a gin or a standard rum, simply because it's so strong. Okay. I mean, you've got, you've got different um, strengths here, but they range from 55 right up to 70%. You're not going to get any points for presentation on this one, Ty. Well, I gave you the straw so you could just tip a little <laughs> bit rather than having to take a great big gulp. Um, and you'll get still quite a strong anise flavour. Hopefully, it'll be sweetened a little bit it's with nice. the sugar. And the well, Yeah, well, just the one or two sips for you. Nice. <laughs> a lot nicer than I expected. I hardly need Lovely. to go on to the cocktail now, do no, I? No, I'm happy. I'm happy, but, but we do shall. move on. We, sh do we move shall on. progress anyway. Okay. This might be something uh, designed for people like me. Right. You know, who, who's maybe not so keen on that flavour. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a pretty sort of traditional drink. It's almost like a, um, a sour. This drink is called a green fairy. Now, Green Fairy, green fairy was is the character of well, Kylie Minogue in Moulin Rouge. That is correct. Uh, it's a nickname, basically, for... Um, for absinthe, right. quite a sort of playful, and that was deliberate. Well, I, I mean, she, the character was was yeah. evoking that sort of and that era, that kind of nineteenth century uh, creativity as well. That absinthe yeah. is so strong. By. Well, it's easy, it's easy to get creative when uh, when you're knocking back something that's seventy percent alcohol. Yeah, well, well, of course, Van Gogh, for instance, you know, he cut off his own ear, um, and they, allegedly, <laughs> well, allegedly, <laughs> and that was after drinking absinthe. So. Indeed, yeah. Uh, so make sure you put your sharp knives in your bag when you leave here. Quite an excessive amount of absinthe, um, I think we're led to yeah. believe. So, this is very sort of simple. It's lemon juice. Always, always fresh lemon juice. You saw that straight out of the lemon. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to put in some caster sugar. Okay, yep. just a couple of... With your cocktail spoon. My cocktail bar spoon. Quite healthy. Again, you know, see, see the sugar content? Just like this, there's quite a lot of sugar that we put yeah. into this drink as well. So that's in there as well. We're going to use a different... We're going to use Lafay here okay. for this. What's the difference? Uh, it's, just, it's a different brand. Okay. Um, so we're going to use the Fay, which is green absinthe. And that's 68% alcohol. 68%. So, again, you will see, we're going to use a single shot of this, but also, like we've done with this, we're going to put water in as well. Right. Okay. So there's not a huge amount of difference between this drink and that drink, apart from, really, the lemon juice, and I'm going to put in just a little dash of bitters. Okay. Literally, just a couple of dashes in there, like so. Uh, and then we're going to give us a good shake. Now it's got, it's got a there. huge celebrity sort of following, hasn't it, Absinthe? And it has, I mean, it, quite famously it's in quite the past. Yeah. Uh, uh, Baudelaire, Edgar Allan Poe, this is why it's associated with creativity, isn't it? Oscar Wilde, Ernest yeah. Hemingway, 
uh, more recently, Eminem, Marilyn Manson, <laughs> and Johnny Depp, apparently, when he came over here to film uh, Sleepy Hollow, ordered a whole crate of it. Yeah, well, it, it you know... It's so we're in good company. Yeah, we're in good company, and it's also become very popular in the last sort of yeah. four or five years. Yeah. So, I'm going to shake this up. Okay, give that okay. a nice shake. Right. But as you see, it's very, very strong. If you're drinking that neat, uh, and you try and have, you know, more than two shots of that, yeah. you could wind up doing yourself some damage. Here we have our cocktail. This I will try first. Oh, go for it. Any good? Yeah. You see, now for me, that makes it slightly more accessible. Have a go on the Green Fairy. Oh, that's good. Now that's good, isn't it? So if you're not... It's got that kind of sarsaparilla cough sweet taste about it. Yeah, but it's got a kind of tang. That's what it is, the tang of the lemon and the anise flavour. Oh, that is lovely. Isn't that good? So which one? Oh, the more this? traditional serve or the no, more contemporary this, definitely. See, I think the more contemporary cocktails for me as well. Mmm. Mmm. Ty, I think you better stop me. Okay, thank you very much. That's delicious. Now, coming up, Mary Lise works her magic with a few eggs, a couple of spuds and some goat's cheese. And posh restaurant etiquette. What would you do without us? See you soon. Please welcome Arlene Phillips. Let me tell you, she does not pull punches. Out of tune. I got chills. Out of time. Stop. Out of order. You make her better. You make her better. Their chills are multiplying. <laughs> and they're all losing control. Why are you not listening to me? Come hell or